Hi there, this is Don Steele. Who am I talking to and where are you calling from? Don, good morning. This is Dave and I'm calling you from Silicon Valley, California. Silicon Valley, where there are thousands of men and very few women, I believe. That's exactly right. A millionaire men on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a millionaire man. Not you, but I mean your competition. The competition is rich, but they haven't bought your book. They don't have the book. That's right. They have the money, but no book. <laughs> Don, how do we handle a situation where an attractive woman shows signs of interest in me and a less than attractive woman nearby sabotages? I've seen this with, with myself. I've observed it with other men. I've got a real quick example if you want it. Sure. Yeah, I need examples. Okay, here's a quick example. I timed this, Don. It's 60 seconds. Oh, it's no, don't worry about that. We, we can run over a little bit. Okay, at a party, a single attractive woman, let's call her Barbie. Makes <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, all right. All right. <laughs> Barbie, yeah, okay. Barbie makes eye contact with me, moves close, slightly closer to me, uh -huh. of interest. Barbie and I talk a little. Plenty of other people nearby, like any other small party, and this actually happened to me. One woman, not so attractive. Maybe she's older, maybe she's fat or something. Let's call her Bertha. <laughs> Boxcar Bertha, even. Okay, we could do that. All right. Bertha is single, always single. So the situation is we're talking about singles here. Not nobody's married right. partner. What usually happens when Bertha notices Barbie and me starting to talk is she raises her voice just a little so that everyone nearby can hear, and she'll say, so, Dave, what do you do? And, Don, I've learned to listen. I've learned the signal of sabotage, just that, that inflection of the voice. What do you do? And no matter what I answer, Bertha finds a way to belittle it. If I say I work in software, Bertha says her teenage son does software at high school. If Bertha asks what company I work with, then she'll say she never heard it. If Bertha might ask what I do there. I'm a vice president, Don, but Bertha will say her brother is president of his company. Okay. No matter what, Bertha belittles my All right, husband. so she butts in your conversation. Butts in and puts down the man. Okay. And Barbie, Barbie's the one I'm interested in. Uh -huh. Barbie cools way down. She looks at Bertha. She says something soothing to Bertha, moves away from me, and that ends that. Uh -huh. So what is your question? question is, how do we handle that situation where a less attractive woman sabotages a new starting interest from an attractive woman or a desirable woman? Okay. Do these two women know each other? I don't know either of them well enough. Let's say no or... Now, what's the event? Uh, this particular event was a Christmas party at a, at a house of friends of mine, friends I've known for uh, 10 years. Uh -huh. How many people? Uh, probably 20. How are people dressed? Uh, people were dressed uh, city casual, sweater slacks, shirts, and the two women, both of them, were friends of the hostess. Uh -huh. Okay, that's that's fine. What I imagine happened is that uh, you you went for the first eye contact with Barbie and dived right in. Yes, that's exactly Okay, that's a no-no. Okay, we don't do that. But one, of the, uh, one of the things we do at a party is we go in, we're nice with everybody, every person there. We want to be, shake hands, hi, how are you doing, like you did at your acting class. Yeah. Okay? Get everybody on your side, so to speak. Say hello, walk around, hi, I'm Dave, I know Alice, uh, yes, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm going to get a drink, excuse me, go out to the kitchen, get a drink, hang out in the kitchen, introduce yourself to a few people there, go circulate to the bathroom, come out of the bathroom, Take up a position somewhere where you can eye ma majority of the people, standing by the fireplace or uh, over by the TV looking it over. And what you're doing is allowing them to see you and you to see them. And you're starting to look for signs of interest. And when you see signs of interest, uh, then you decide, okay, these three women are interested in me. What are my chances with Barbie, Bertha, and Babs? Yes. And you decide which one you have the highest priority, uh, I'm sorry, highest probability with, and then you find a way to talk with her. Okay? Okay. And so what you did was not realize that Bertha was interested in you. Oh, didn't see that. Yeah, you have a woman scorned. Didn't catch that. All right. So what we do is we don't, we try to control ourselves. <laughs> when Barbie, <laughs> Barbie gives us the big blue eye, batting big blue eyes, we 
smile and nod, and we don't do anything about it until we make sure who else is involved. This is a very similar tactic as I teach in office politics. In your first 90 days, keep your eyes shut. I'm sorry, your mouth shut and your eyes open. You want to find out who's for you and who's against you. And you want to identify the enemies as quickly as possible and figure out a way to neutralize them. Same thing at a party, same thing at a club meeting, same thing at a political gathering. Who's for me and who's against me? Do a threat analysis right out of the chute. 